you and I kuna vile tuna ride. Mosa should do an album. <laughs> should do an album. You know, people thought that the poems that I've posted recently are from Juzi too, but they're not. They're actually from, and I said it in the caption, 2007, eight, and nine. Maybe there's one that I did later in 2010, but most of them didn't pass 2009. What had inspired that phase of poetry? You know, I don't know, <laughs> because it's so heavy on like, love or maybe my version of love. Some of them still sound relevant. I was looking at one of mine today with these words, I write you sealed and away. I'm a hundred days lonely and I'm now going to sail across the Indian Ocean through the River Nile to meet you halfway and ask you to be mine. Wow. Wow, this was me. And a lot of them are very emotional, but I've changed my mind a little bit about soulmates. What's the description of a soulmate in your own way? I think a soulmate, first of all, I feel like it's been romanticized a lot. A soulmate is somebody who you feel can echo the desires you have. For example, somebody who will understand your taste in music or finish your sentences. You know what I mean? Like, I feel, I could be wrong, that it's a very romanticized idea of a partner. Now, should somebody be lucky enough to find a partner who's a soulmate? I guess maybe that's the dream. Where I am now, I think I'd rather find my person than my soulmate. When I say my person, it's the person I'll do life with, whether it's a marriage or a partnership or companionship. There's a lot of things you have in common. Yeah. You, are, you understand how to do conflict resolution. You're kind, respectful, you love each other. I'm not saying you're settling. You just function well together. I feel like a soulmate is, um, Sometimes you set yourself up for unrealistic goals when you go the soulmate way. I think Maybe it's how it has been described to us. What's a soulmate to you? I would say someone who matches my energy and someone who fills my gaps and compliments me. But doesn't complete you. Yes. There are things that you give a priority to mm -hmm. when you're finding someone who matches you. We're able to strike a conversation. Yeah. We match in how we're going to live. Yes. There's not that big gap. Yes. And then in there, there's love. There's love. Okay, I, those are the elements or the pillars yes. that put us together. Well, that's a good way of putting it, yeah. the, the pillars. Those are the pillars, and yeah. then there's what sustains that movement. Mm -hmm. respect, respect, love, companionship. Yes. conflict resolution. Yes. And because you can never be completed, mm -hmm. is this person, you and them, mm -hmm. are you able to create your own community in terms of friends, mm -hmm. career support, mm. that would complement the incomplete part of yourselves. Like what we said last time, you can't want to look for it in the same person. Yes. There's different element. What yeah. you've said, I agree with. Mm -hmm. My person mm -hmm. is everything you've just described. We're in the same, we're, we're compatible in terms of our life goals, how we resolve conflict, how we plan our future, whatever that is, that's my person and I love them. A soulmate now, I feel, your heart is on fire whenever you think about them, but I feel like fire eventually burns out. Yes. Like a fire, a desire, a twin flame. There's this thing called a twin flame. There's soulmate, there's soul ties, Woo! there's twin flame. Twin flame, I think, is described, and I could be wrong, as a form of a soulmate. Twin flame basically means it's your twin flame. It's one flame in two. You're one. You're one flame in two. There's a lot of heat, passion, desire, excitement. And I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm saying if other things complement it, which are more sustainable, it's fine. But I feel like people focus on the flame of a relationship, the fire, the excitement, and sometimes that burns out. You know, people who've experienced a soulmate, it lingers. And if you can't pursue that soulmate, you have to let it go. Yes. But the problem is, you know what I think now, if you go on a date with somebody, be like, hi, what's your favorite color? What do you like to do? Do you have a soul tie? I, it sounds wild, but it's like, is there somebody who's your kryptonite? And they're like, what's a kryptonite? It's like somebody who you can't get out of your system. Maybe it's been a year or two or three, and you can't shake them. They're in your bone. For whatever reason, the two of you cannot be together. It could be because of... Death like Jada's. <laughs> <laughs> Jada, Pinkett. You know what? Let that soulmate go. <laughs> it's hard. I don't want to say it to sound insensitive. And this is not even, like Jada, Will, Tupac, it's like an example of millions of people. I'm just using a pop culture reference. You have to make a choice to say, I loved this person, I've lost them. I now have to make room 
to invite somebody into my life and to pour into them without bringing the shadow of the soulmate I had. And a lot of people don't do that. My point is, you have to choose to pursue or to let go. And it's true, some people experience the most beautiful version of love and acceptance that will always leave a taste in their mouth. And I know how hard it is to want to relive that and you can't find it and the next person, the next person, and you keep carrying that. But if you truly want to make room for your person, the person you're gonna do life with, you might have to reconsider letting go of the soulmate that you couldn't do life with. If you can do life with your soulmate, I think that's like the home run, like, yo, we envy you. But if you can't, and this person has a part of you, you have to work really hard to rein that part of you back in. Otherwise, you and I will be in a relationship. Physically, you're here. Emotionally, you'll never be there. And there's nothing worse, I think. Bottom line, as a man, mm -hmm. the experience that is brought in by a lady I date, Okay. Let's say out of 10, yeah. she takes you to level 7. Okay. It becomes very hard for me to mm -hmm. date a level 6. True. As you say, there's a taste in my mouth mm -hmm. of the sweetest thing ever. Then why didn't it pursue? Why wasn't it pursued? What happened? Well, it can fail because of many reasons. Exactly. But how do you move on? Is accepting mm -hmm. that it's gone? Yeah. And then taking your time to find the best because for a man it's the thought once you figure out what you want and you think like this is the best i ever met then it works but the moment you block and say ah i'm still ah that person has always given me a b c d then you have not moved on if you feel they have always given you the best experiences and they are gone then it's not time to date thank you yeah i like that like then it's not time, you're not ready. And it goes for all, oh, it's for men and for women, but as long as the taste of a soulmate lingers and it's somebody you can't pursue and it's somebody you can't be with for one reason or another and you want to give something else a try, you have to work really hard. If you're so lucky to find a soulmate, cool. If you've lost your soulmate, I'm sorry, there's nothing more painful. And if you feel like a soulmate is so important in a relationship, Maybe it's time to start reconsidering what your priorities for a relationship are. Because if it's about excitement and fire and passion, bungee jumping can give you excitement. Yeah. Activities. Curry, curry can give you spice. <laughs> Activities and things in life can fill, you can fill your life with a lot of things that... But these activities, you need to do them with someone. Wow, Moss. You know what? Moss is a soulmate guy. <laughs> Moss is a soulmate guy. Not a soulmate guy, but I feel... Yeah. It doesn't matter how, how many people you have lost along the way. Mm -hmm. There's that particular person who's going to compliment you very well. I think so. And bring out the... You know, the problem is comparison. Yes. It, that's, that's, a, that's why I'm saying we're in the room. We're two, but there's more. Because yeah. your mind is lingering, saying, man, she's not as this as this other person. She's not as... So even if I'm sitting with you and even if we're having like an intimate moment, I can tell you're not here. You're still there, lingering, and it's up to you. If you still need to linger, like you said, to give yourself time. But I think you get to a point where you ask yourself, what's actually important for me in a relationship? And if this didn't Go work out, that. before, yeah. So I'm just saying, I think, choose your person who may not necessarily be your soulmate. Be your soulmate. And then do life with them. Do life with them. But hey, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs>